All right, got it. So I was thinking about video games and how we can imagine we're in a real video game. Like right now, as I sit here out in the grass, it's almost as if different options are popping up for, for what I can do. Press one if you wanna walk back inside. Press two if you wanna walk over to your car and check to see if it's locked. Check number three, call somebody. Number four, shoot a video like this. Like we have these options and I think it's easy sometimes when we get into the victim mode where we think life is happening to us and we don't have any control. Although we don't have much control, there are an infinite amount of things happening at once right now. Gazillions of billions of interactions happening all at once, every second. There goes another kajillion interactions that just happened from the blades of grass transforming and photosynthesizing and the air in my lungs turning and transforming CO2 to oxygen, all these things. Now, wait, is it CO2 to oxygen? That's what I was thinking about. Oxygen to CO2. I think you know what I mean. And so in this video game, we forget if we're the victim that we are actually player one. And that player one is the, is the best position to be in because you have your hands on the remote control. Right now, wherever you're seeing this video, you are the one holding the controller. And you can choose one, two, three, four, whatever options are right in front of you. You have a few kind of peak options that are, that are the most obvious, that are sort of in your habitual flow of life. Like right now, it's probably like 20th on my list that I would um, book a flight to Ibiza right now after I make this video. That's like not a, a top suggestion on my Google search for things I can do next. Um, but it probably just went up because I just thought of it. <laughs> uh, but the point of this video is to think about just a different perspective. Like what if you put the lens over life and you imagine that you are the first character of your video game. It's really interesting. It reminds me to be present and to interact with this video game because I'm part of it and not to see things or people or the nature as uh, an enemy, but rather a, a playground and a tool to manifest and build and uh, improve situations because it's fun versus a struggle. It's a very subtle difference and yes, there's real challenges in this video game. Biologically, we're all undergoing this collective psychic war of fear that's being bombarded on us by things like general news networks and all kinds of things that are that are really directing the narrative of the overall public. And people are waking up and realizing that, first of all, there's way more layers than, than just one story. There's, there's a bunch of different perspectives. There's an infinite amount of perspectives of what the real truth is. And we can combine all of our perspectives and actually talk about it and learn from each other. Because I only have my perspective from right here in the grass in Charleston, South Carolina. Whereas somebody even sitting right next to me would have a different perspective, let alone somebody from across the world or across the universe. Everything has a relative truth. So it's funny as we talk about different perspectives, we get, myself included, sometimes riled up in moments where you wanna defend or attack your perspective, but it's okay. Like you don't have to attack or defend your perspective because your truth is relative to you. Everybody's right. Now, some people can be more accurate when it comes to like factual information. Like if, if somebody came up to Einstein and said E equals MC to the fourth, 
Einstein would be like, no, like, let me show you. It's actually E equals MC squared. And here's, we prove it out, like scientific method, and boom, it, it's consistently the truth, like a, a, a ultimate truth. But most of the things that we talk about on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, like in the political world and all that's very relative and experiential and, and differing because everyone has a different experience and vantage point of what they think the solution is based off their current level of experience and knowledge. So it, if we can get to a place where we can listen to each other more without being triggered as much, we, we would compile all this information. Uh, I think I think we could cultivate more seamless solutions that way instead of fighting. Like back to the video game analogy real quick and then I think I'll wrap up this video. If I really act as if I'm in a video game right now, like you want to trade with people. You want to like, oh, you have a water bottle and I need water? Like here, like I'll give you 20 gold coins for that. I hope it doesn't become $20 for a water bottle. That'd be cool if, I'd be cool if in this water, in this video game, water was free, and then we could just go from there. But, uh, that's another topic. <laughs> Money could be another good topic to talk about. I'm working through that. Oh, there's a B. Hey, B. Um, yeah, like everything being priced where it is. But, that's another topic. Nonetheless, I'm curious what you think about this, and if, if right now, if you've remained present through this, uh, what option you're gonna go take next with your video game, your reality, you're in control. You're, in, you're holding the controller. You're gonna pick one, two, three, four, or you're gonna pick 20 and go to Ibiza right now. So, enjoy.